Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Got another product in and uh, well, right here. As you can see, this is a USB, uh, well, 3.0 to SATA and IDE hard drive controller. So uh, basically, I've got some hard drives, some old ones, as well as some new stuff that I want to transfer data off of. So if you have something that is, you know, on the older side, say, uh, you know, 10, 15 years old, maybe older, uh, you might run into something that is an IDE. Uh, now, some of you guys won't know what some of that is because, I mean, that is getting pretty old with some of these things. Uh, but for me, uh, I remember that from when I was a kid and whatnot, IDE was the standard that, uh, that they used back in the day. It was a parallel uh, connection rather than serial connection, which is what the S uh, stands for in SATA. So let's go ahead and get this out of here and take a look at what we've got in the box. Uh, now we've got the cable, we've got uh, another cable, we've got the device itself, obviously the power supply, and then should be the little instruction manual and it shows you kind of how to plug everything in. Uh, now we'll go ahead, first thing, we'll just do this one. Everybody kind of knows what this is. This is a USB connection uh, or cable. Now this is USB-A, which is the rectangle. Uh, and it's got it on either end, so this obviously uses a USB-A connection as well. So uh, these are not as common to see, so you definitely don't want to lose that. Uh, since it's blue, that is the 3.0 connection, so that is the much faster, uh, I believe in the gigabit range of uh, data transfer. Uh, now, of course, that also depends upon the drive that you're accessing. The drive that you're accessing is uh, going to determine how fast you're going to be able to transfer everything. Uh, now we do have, like I said, we have the, the charger and the charger is a, let's see, this looks like a 12 volt, two amp charger and it has the standard round uh, and it does have the positive in the center and the negative around the outside. So the outside is ground. Uh, so very similar to a lot of things. Matter of fact, some uh, some uh, LCDs and things like that actually use a very similar uh, one to this as well as lots of toys and stuff. So uh, just in case you may have to, uh, if you got to use it for something else, those are things that it could be used for, but just make sure those line up uh, accordingly. But I'm not saying you should use the one that comes with it. This is a just in case kind of idea. Uh, now go to this right here. We have a four cable connector here. So a lot of you may not know what this is. Now this is a Molex connector. Uh, this is the power connection, uh, hence the, the red and the black and the yellow wires. Uh, this is what powers the old IDE, or sometimes they're also called PATA drives, P-A-T-A, and it just means parallel A-T-A. Uh, so it depends on who you talk to. Some of them, they just call them IDE drives or E-I-D-E, and the E stands for enhanced uh, so there's that. Now, if it's a SATA or SATA drive, whichever way you decide to pronounce it, uh, those ones are serial ATA. So the S and the P just are the different uh, uh, architectures that they're using, the way they're transferring data. Uh, now, here it is, the device itself. The connections are on the outside, and there are three of them. Here is the SATA. And the SATA is the same for uh, the smaller laptop style drives as well as for the larger uh, desktop style drives. The desktop being three and a half inch, the laptop being the two and a half inch, but the connectors uh, that, that they're using, usually there's two separate wires in a desktop drive. Uh, the wide one being power, the narrow one being the uh, data throughput. Uh, and that's what this is. So you've got the narrow one for data, the wide one for power, and then you've got these two other ones. Now, the reason there's two is because uh, you can sit here and actually get something, uh, the really old stuff. You've got the three and a half inch drives, the mechanical platter drives that spin around, uh, and 
those ones, uh, I mean, even though they do have SATA versions, the IDEs are what really uh, use those the most. We started, once we got SATA, then we started getting into more of the uh, solid state drives. Uh, but you've got, uh, I believe it's an eight, yeah, it should be an 80 pin, I believe. It's either 40 or 80 pin. Uh, actually, this is probably 40 pin right here, connector there. And then this one is considered, I think this is considered an 80 pin, which would be what's on the two and a half inch drives. So you've got the three and a half and the two and a half. Uh, and it even says right here, uh, three and a half, uh, or side, actually it's sides. So you've got SATA, you've got uh, two EIDE, and then you've got uh, 3.5 IDE. So it does say, of course, what size uh, those go to. So this is the ones that are in, uh, again, the two and a half that are in the very old laptops. And then this would be the one that would be in a very old desktop. Uh, or at least old as we would consider it now. Uh, now, if you're using either one of these, they do not power through this. This is only for data transfer. So that's where this comes into play. Uh, so you're gonna just simply plug it in, modular, you'll plug it in right there, and then you'll plug it into whichever one that you need to plug in here. Um, it does seem a little awkward because I don't know how you're gonna plug this into here unless this does offer power to the two and a half which possibly i know two and a half sometimes do do that that's why they have a few more pins because they use part of them for power uh, for the three and a half you definitely are going to have to use this uh, to power it uh, now you've got your other connections you've got your power connection to power whatever you are using and then you of course have your usb data connection and always have that little tab down or to the closest side uh, so there we go there so that's how it would be all plugged in and then you would just plug in your drive whichever way it needs to uh, now there is the possibility uh, well again this being uh, should be a 40 pin array um, there's the possibility that this could actually um, have you could take an old um, well, even an old CD or DVD drive that used this, or there are those old like three and a half or even the five and a quarter floppy disk drives. If you still have one of those around, you could possibly plug it into this and then be able to actually transfer the data off of it um, onto your current system. If you had, if there's pictures, if there's some type of documentation that you need, that is on an old device like that, you can take and transfer it. Um, again, you can transfer it onto here and uh, it'll show up on your computer and then you can either save it on your hard drive or wherever else you wanna put it. So pretty straightforward, very nice. Uh, better than some of the other models. Some of the other models, they just have wires everywhere. Um, I like the idea of kind of plugging it into a stationary thing uh, this is more dock like uh, for me. So you plug it into a dock. I have, I've had the docks before that you would just plug the drives into. They sit in there vertically um, and you can plug that into the computer and you can pull one out, plug another one in and it acts um, kind of like a cassette deck or, uh, or even like the you know the floppy drives or something like that but instead of using the floppy disk you're using an actual hard drive to plug it in and out uh, and so that is uh, this is both of those are very nice when they sit there and do all the wires that's kind of a pain in the butt uh, we do have an on off actual button so this isn't always on you can turn it off uh, and have you know have it powered down but still have it plugged in to everything and not have to worry about all of that uh, you're documentation here it's a couple pages long um, so we've got it here USB uh, driver controller and then it just talks about uh, some well some of this stuff is in some other languages it looks like yeah it looks like German as well as English um, possibly some other languages as well uh, French it looks like 
uh, I'm gonna guess there's probably Spanish in here. Yeah, it looks like Spanish and uh, uh, maybe Italian, I'm guessing. So Spanish, German, French, and Italian, um, pretty much the pretty common ones to, to go by. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see though, they do have the, the uh, picture here to show you how everything plugs in. Um, yeah, see here, they're even showing you that you can plug in uh, some of the old uh, DVD, CD, ROM drives uh, into this one side, uh, as well as you got the anything that's SATA and then just your regular old laptop platter style drives plug it in there. So just like I said, but uh, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. There is going to be a link to this on the Amazon site. Of course, there's uh, also the social media when you're down there and on your way down or on your way back up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Anyhow, that'll do it for me today, guys. My name's Cougar. This is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.